Imagine every text message you send could be intercepted and read by someone else. Scary, isn't it? Now imagine that someone else could be a bad actor, better still, a hacker. Here's the thing, this is happening right now in one of the most alarming cyber attacks we've ever seen. Hi, I'm Tracy Anifuna, and on this channel we make online security simple for everyone. Today, I'm going to break down this recent cyber attack for you from how it happened, how it affects you, and most importantly, what you can do to stay safe online. Let's dive right in. The US government recently issued an urgent warning about a major cyber attack called Sword Typhoon. It is suspected to be orchestrated by hackers linked to China and it targeted major telecom companies in the US like AT&T and Verizon. The attack exposed millions of users' text messages, metadata, which simply means who you're texting, when you're texting them, and even possibly the content of the messages. This alarming news isn't just about big corporations, text messages, and hackers. It is about you, me, and how our private lives could be caught up in the crossfire of global cyber warfare. Let's take a quick look at how texting actually works and why SMS is so vulnerable to cyber attacks. Understanding this will help you see the risk and why switching to newer encrypted messaging technology are a game changer. When you send a text message using SMS, it doesn't go straight from your phone to your friend's phone. Instead, it takes a multi-step route. Your message is sent from your phone to the nearest cell tower. The tower forwards it to your telecom service provider servers. The servers have to figure out where the recipient phone is and route the message to them via another cell tower. The whole process happens in seconds, but there is one major issue. It is unencrypted at most steps. Think of it like sending a postcard. Anyone handling the postcard can see what you've written. In contrast, encrypted messages are like sealed letters. Only the recipients can open and read them. Now, when SMS was invented in the 1990s, encryption wasn't a big concern then because the technology was limited and hacking was rare. But today, with billions of text messages sent daily and hackers becoming more sophisticated, SMS isn't just designed to handle modern security threats. Telegram companies have tried to improve SMS with something called RCS or Rich Communication Services. RCS brings modern features to SMS like typing indicators and read receipts, but here's the kicker, it is not fully secure. RCS encrypt messages between you and your telecom service provider, but it is not end-to-end. -end. This simply means that your messages will still be vulnerable when stored on your telecom service provider's servers or when it is routed to the recipient. Here's why all this information matters. We use SMS for everything from texting loved ones to receiving sensitive information like banking alerts or verification codes. Every time you rely on SMS, you are putting that data at risk of being intercepted or stolen. So now you know why SMS is vulnerable to attacks. But the good news is, there are safer ways to communicate, like using apps that use end-to-end -end encryption. I will break down these apps for you in the next few chapters. So who is behind this attack and why? US officials have linked the attack to Chinese hackers targeting telecom companies to spy on users and potentially gather intelligence. This isn't just about stealing data, it's about power, control, and surveillance. Let's talk about how hackers take advantage of SMS vulnerabilities. These aren't just random attacks, they are calculated and they can have real consequences for everyday people. Here are some common tactics hackers have used to exploit the weakness of SMS. Hackers can use devices called IMSI catchers or stingrays to intercept your messages. These fake towers trick your phone into connecting with them instead of a legitimate network tower. Once connected, hackers can read your texts, listen to your calls, or even track your location all without you knowing. Another popular method is called SIM swapping. Hackers trick your mobile carrier into transferring your phone number into their own SIM card. Once they have control of your phone number, they can intercept SMS messages, including two-factor authentication codes, giving them access to your email, bank account, and so much more. Have you ever received a text message that looks like it's from your bank asking you to click a link? This is called smishing, a phishing attack via SMS. Hackers use these fake messages to steal your login credentials, payment information, or other sensitive data. Clicking on a malicious link in a text message can also install malware on your phone. This malware can steal your contacts, eavesdrop on your conversations, and even turn your phone into a spying device. As you can see, SMS vulnerabilities open the door to a wide range of attacks. These attacks aren't just theoretical threats, they are happening every day as we speak. Let's make this personal and talk about what's really at risk for you if your text messages are exposed in a hack like the Saw Typhoon. 
Imagine every text message you have sent, whether it's to your partner, a friend, or a colleague, being accessible to someone with bad intentions. It might seem harmless at first, but what if they collect sensitive details about your life, like your home address, family relationships, or even your health issues? Then there is professional information. Say you are texting a coworker about a project or discussing business deals. Hackers could use this information to spy on corporate strategies, steal intellectual properties, or even blackmail organizations. This kind of vulnerabilities doesn't just hurt you, it can have ripple effects on your employer and the economy. Here is where it gets scary, financial risk. Many of us still use SMS or banking alerts or two-factor authentication codes. If hackers could intercept these messages, they could literally gain access to your bank account or online services. They don't just see your data, they could actively steal your money. Metadata like who you text and when might not seem like a big deal at first, but combined with other information, it can paint a complete picture of your daily life. Hackers or even stalkers can use this information to track your daily routine, like where you walk, leave, or even hang out. This can escalate into serious safety concerns. Hackers can also use intercepted text messages to create highly targeted scams. For instance, they might impersonate your bank or even a close friend to trick you into sharing password, clicking malicious links, or even transferring money. This is called social engineering and it is surprisingly very effective. And let's not forget the bigger picture. If you are in the military, work in government, or handle sensitive data, these vulnerabilities could put national security at risk. Hackers aren't just looking for individuals, they are trying to exploit critical infrastructures and systems that keep countries running. Finally, there is the emotional toll. Knowing your private messages aren't so private at all can leave you feeling anxious and distrustful. It changes how you communicate and how comfortable you feel sharing online. So what's at risk? Your privacy, your finances, your safety, and even your peace of mind. That's a lot to handle. But the good news is, with the right tools and habits, you can protect yourself. I will tell you how in just a moment. Protecting yourself from attacks like Saw Typhoon doesn't mean you have to stop texting altogether. It's about choosing the right tools, like secure messaging apps. Let's break down some of the safe messaging apps you can use and how they work to keep your conversations private. First, let's define what a secure messaging app is. Look for apps with end-to-end -end encryption. This means that your messages are scrambled into code that only the sender and the recipient can read, no one in between, not even the app developers. It is like having a conversation in a soundproof room instead of shouting across a crowded room where everyone can listen. Signal is often called the gold standard for secure messaging and for good reasons. It is open source, meaning that security experts can review its code to ensure there are no backdoors. The app doesn't store your data on its servers, no message history, no metadata, nothing. And it is not owned by a big tech company, so there is no commercial interest in your data. If privacy is your top priority, Signal should be your go-to app, plus it is free and easy to use. WhatsApp is another excellent option. It uses the same encryption technology as Signal so your messages are secure. But there is a catch. WhatsApp is owned by Meta, formerly called Facebook. While Meta can't read your messages, the app does collect metadata like who you contact and when. For everyday use, WhatsApp is a good balance between convenience and security, especially since it is widely used around the world. If you are an Apple user, iMessage is a solid choice. It uses end-to-end -end encryption for messages sent between Apple devices, which means your text messages are secure if you are staying within the Apple ecosystem. But here is the catch. If you message someone on Android, the encryption doesn't carry over. Those text messages are sent as plain SMS, making them vulnerable to attacks. Telegram is another popular app, but there is a misunderstanding about its security. Because by default, Telegram doesn't use end-to-end -end encryption. To make your chats private, you need to switch to secret chats. This is a decent option for casual use, but if privacy is your priority, using apps like Signal or WhatsApp are a better choice. No matter which app you choose to use, here are a few tips to keep your conversations secure. Enable two-factor authentication as this adds an extra layer of protection to your account. Keep your apps updated. Security fixes are rolled out frequently. Please do not ignore these updates. Avoid public Wi-Fi. Hackers can intercept your data on unsecured networks. Use a VPN if you must connect in public. At the end of the day, your privacy is in your hands. Switching to apps like Signal or WhatsApp and following these tips can go a long way in keeping your messages secure. 
Soul Typhoon isn't just about another hacking story, it is a wake-up call about the vulnerabilities in the systems we use every day. Whether you are texting a friend or discussing something sensitive, your privacy matters. So let's make a change today. Move to encrypted apps, educate others, and demand stronger security from the companies we trust. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more simple tips to keep you and your family safe in today's digital world. Till next time, thank you for watching, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Cyber Safety Simplified, bringing you insights, tips, and tricks to keep you safe online, at work and at home.